Welcome back this week on Katie Science Lab. We are learning how to make so-called elephant toothpaste. That's right. Katie Blake joins us now with her assistant, our David Sears. Good morning, David. Morning, Glad to have David. you back. Thank We're going to put you to work this week. So okay. why is it called elephant toothpaste? Yeah, well, why is it called elephant toothpaste? So this David? is the container we're using, and we're going to kind of make something that would resemble toothpaste. So this would be, a, I think, a toothpaste tube big enough for an elephant, ah. right? Got it. And we won't forget it either. There you go. Correct. <laughs> we're stepping up our game. We got funnels <laughs> off of Amazon. We are ready. So here's what you're going to need. First of all, an empty soda or water bottle. We've got some bigger sizes here. If you want to do the bigger size, that's how you can kind of tell the kids, oh, it's toothpaste for an elephant. You'll need hydrogen peroxide, 3% is fine. Some active yeast, dish soap, warm water, and some food coloring to color your toothpaste. All right, so first thing we're going to do, and something you can do that we've already done, warm water not too hot but not too cold and put your little yeast packet in there and and mix it all up and let that get good and mixed and then that can sit then we're going to put the hydrogen peroxide in the bottle about half a cup or so but you can be kind of generous with this since it's the the three percent and not the six percent if you can find the six percent that'll give you a bigger reaction uh, but you won't need to use as much there you go david half a cup there we're, we're eyeballing it <laughs> <laughs> so you've got your hydrogen peroxide in there, and then you're going to do just a couple squirts of dish soap. That looks like about a half that cup. Get David with the long pour. <laughs> <laughs> dish soap. Dish soap. And then right. kind of let that mix around. You'll see the bubbles. Much dish soap, a half see a the cup. bubbles from the soap. Yeah, and so that's blue. So that's going to give that's going to give a little bit of coloring. But then you can pick whatever color you want your toothpaste to be. So maybe wow. I'll put in green. So with dish soap, we'll be like clean later. <laughs> totally. So you can put in some food coloring if you want to color your toothpaste. Waiting for the final thing to... <laughs> you got it. You got it. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Okay. <laughs> so, you're good. You're good. You don't have to wait for it to stop completely. I'll get some red. <laughs> He's a yes. patient guy. <laughs> so let the kids have fun with, you know, the color, whatever color their toothpaste is. See if they can okay. kind of recreate that here. Great job, David. Mix it up. We'll mix it up. <laughs> get it all ready to go. So you saw a cocktail, right, David? Come on. <laughs> there's no, there's no lid I'm on that. A little slow. Be careful. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's good. There You're you doing go. a great job, David. <laughs> Off the top. <laughs> now. So, oh. as soon as you put the, the yeast mixture in, that's when the reaction is going to happen. Oh, I guess mm -hmm. we do, we need the funnel. I forgot about that. Ready? Oh, so now the reaction is going to happen? I think you shook too much, but we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here good we luck, go. Lucky guys. Stand back. Oh, look. Oh, oh looky there. Uh oh. Good job, David. And here comes Come Katie's. On. Come oh, on. That's wow. Cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. I love it. There's your toothpaste. Toothpaste fit for an, an elephant. elephant. Nice. Love it. That's more impressive than your volcano, Katie Blake. <laughs> oh, wow. thank you. Yeah, I hope each week we'll just kind of take it up a few, yes. a few notches. Yes, yeah. you've raised your wait, game. Wait till October. Got some wow. good stuff planned. Uh, but yeah, this is, yeah, and it'll mine's keep going. Mine's still bubbly, though. And what David, happens? feel. Why, why is mine kind of bubbly? David, feel, feel the bottle. You're going to have to take your gloves off. It's okay. It's not hazardous. Ooh, it's warm. Reaction created warm. some heat. This is an exothermic reaction, so it releases heat. But don't worry, it's not too hot. The kiddos can touch it. Write that down. Exothermic. Reaction. Very yeah. cool. And with your Christmas colors, red and green, right? Yeah. <laughs> Great yours job. Is a, yours is like really smooth. It's, it's kind of bubbly. David's looks like a Slurpee. <laughs> yours, Katie, looks like guacamole exploded smooth. everywhere. <laughs> guacamole I would love that. Taste. Big guac fan. All right, you guys, have fun with this at home. Um, remember to, if you do these experiments at home with the kiddos, tag us in your pictures. You can find all of our previous experiments on ksat.com slash kids. Good job, David. And it's it's okay to make a mess, right? Oh, yes. yes. Part of the fun. Please do. Okay. Good job, guys. <laughs> well, he needs a toothbrush. <laughs> thank a you. A very big toothbrush. Yes. yes David, Katie, fun. thank you. Yep. Dr. Thank Blake. you, guys.